everybody. Happy Monday. I feel like it's been ages since I picked up my camera. Last week I just didn't get a chance to. Um, you know, too busy and just tired. Um, this is actually really nice, glazed donut. It does literally smell like a glazed donut and you only need such a little smidgen. Um, so I've just been putting like a tiny little drop. So I'm not overly keen on sweet coffees anyway. Um, anyway, I've actually been at the gym this morning. I got there for about quarter to five. I know, ridiculous. Um, but I've been trying, this is my third week I think, and I've just been trying to get into a better routine of trying to fit a little bit of me time in my day without having to go in the evenings, which is just too busy for my liking. And honestly, I'm just not an evening gym person. I'm just too tired. Um, obviously it's just so much to do throughout a whole day and then after dinner clean up and then decide to go to the gym is just not on my agenda. So um, yeah, I've been just getting up a little bit earlier because naturally my body clock is half five, six because of having miles and obviously Graham's always up and out anyway. So we've kind of, um, I don't know, been trialing a plan of me going three days a week early so I've been getting up and down there for like half four, quarter to five. And it works perfectly, so I'm back by six and then Graham can go off and, you know, I obviously pick the days that are more suited for him so he doesn't actually have to be out of the house for like five like normal. So yeah, he's gone, he went a little while ago actually. I've just had a shower. I didn't actually wash my hair. I've just put a bit of dry shampoo in because I'll be going back to the gym tomorrow morning and I just think, I just scrape my hair back. So, um, yeah, my morning's already started two hours ago. <laughs> it's 20 past, 20 past six. Like I said, I'm just making my coffee. I actually made a couple of juices. Miles helped me make some juice using my juicer yesterday. I did apple juice for the kids. They already drank it. They just love just plain apple juice. But I did apple, celery and ginger for me. I did two of these like jars. Um, it's pretty potent. So I'm gonna have this before my coffee really strong because Miles was putting the ginger in and I was just like that's too much and he put like a massive chunk in Mondays I actually I'm not in the shop I've got childcare for all the kids last week we had a busy Monday where we just did a lot of cleaning organizing of the shop we just had so I had painting to do I had just lots of stuff to do and um it was bloody boiling as well. I was like, why did we choose this day to do it? But um, yeah, so today I'm gonna drop the kids off. It was actually Father's Day yesterday. I didn't actually get to see my dad. So we've all, me and my sister have already arranged to take him out for lunch today, which is really nice. It's, Mondays are a good day for all of us where we're all child free and obviously my dad's off and not working. So yeah. That is plan for today, so that's lunch time. Right, I've just done the kids' lunches. I've just done Miles some breakfast. We've got Batman here. Ow. Miles is having jambal egg on toast. This is his favourite at the minute, which is good. It's a good breakfast to get him in before nurse, which I made myself some overnight oats, which I haven't done in such a long time. This is like a salted date smooth almond butter. It's actually been kind of weird weather over the weekend um which i was quite grateful for like random like storms and whatever it's just been a little bit cooler it's been muggy but like not much sun which is kind of good because honestly i'm using that my plants have absolutely frazzled in this blooming heat oh my god i think i have maybe three um peas like plants left my two cucumbers that I left out are absolutely frazzled. I don't think they're gonna come back. Luckily, I took one and put it in the greenhouse, so that should be fine. But, oh my God, everything looks just so yellow and burnt. So, yeah, I'm grateful for a bit of rain that we've had and a bit of coolness. Although the week, again, it looks like it's gonna be quite another hot week. So, who knows what will survive when it's out in the beds. This is the problem I've got at the moment. 
but never mind. I'm not complaining about the heat because I actually really enjoy the heat. <clears throat> it's just the blimmin' my poor plants, my hard work. Excuse me. What are you two doing? <laughs> I wonder why you're so quiet. I wonder where you are. Did I get your clothes out? No. Yeah. Get these dogs out. A bit clearer today. Some very, very heavy, overcast, weird weather. My um, my mother-in-law actually had to have her dog put down over the weekend. Completely unexpected. It's actually Donk's sister. So she's 12, like Donk. But um, yeah, she just wasn't eating for like a few days. So she took to the vets, they put her under to have like a scan. Then they found like she had a heart murmur and she also had massive cancerous tumour on her spleen, which apparently they could have potentially operated, but it may have not worked. But they also, if they would have left her, it could have just erupted and she could have like bled out. So like the best option they said was just to just like put her down because she was 12 and whatever, the heart murmur and everything. So really unexpected. And she's got an older dog, like a Spaniel. Um, he's 14, he's on meds. Like, you know, you just, I think she just expected to lose Apollo first before Smudge. And uh, yeah, now she's just left with Apollo. He's got dementia, but awful. Did not expect that. So yeah, the dog's all right, aren't ya? He's fitting well. He actually has definitely lost a bit of weight, I've noticed in the last six months to a year. Not massively though, and probably for the better because he was pretty overweight to be fair. Henry's actually going to the groomer tomorrow. I've got my car service, an MOT, <coughs> and then, yeah, Miles, Miles, Henry is going to the groomer. So he's got like a, over two hours apparently of pamper session, so that'll be interesting. But he's so fluffy, and the worst bit about him at the moment, <laughs> he just rolls in everything. He literally, all the time, he just will just lay on his back and just roll in something at least two or three times on our walk. So he, obviously with this fluffy fur, and obviously the heat as well, I thought it would be just good just to have a full, a full shave. And then by like autumn, winter, it would be back to a full coat again. But he needs it. It's so, so gross, honestly. I'm gonna ask them to keep his little bit at the top though, because I think it just looks super cute. It's like, it's, it literally looks like curtain haircut. Hen, hen. I'm hoping they keep this. <laughs> it's like blonde locks. Where's our cookies? You got one? Two. You left your chick up there. Look. I thought, I thought we put three to bed last night. Oh, I've got to show you. Absolutely devastated. My cucumbers are gone. I actually think a chicken dug that out. I mean, look at it. Um, <clears throat> my courgettes seem to be fine though. I actually put one of the one's tomato plants from the greenhouse out here the other day. Probably a bad idea. Um, even my French, and you can see my French beans. Again, I've got couple on the ends which are looking okay. These are absolutely fine. I've actually got some flowers on my tiger tomatoes. My spring onions along there and my spinach at the back looks absolutely fine. But yeah look at my peas. Whole rows. So that one looks okay. My, that one looks a bit greeny that one. I mean it's okay having a couple of plants to be fair. I didn't really need this many but it's still so frustrating. And then I brought one of the cucumbers in actually last week. Tiny. Really hasn't grown at all. I mean, it's got greener and it's got better since bringing it in. It's another tomato plant flowering. But um, yeah, considering how long it's been outside, it really hasn't grown at all. Um, what's this? Courgette. I. Why did I plant more courgettes? 
I should have planted more cucumbers clearly but I don't mind because I don't really like cucumber anyway I think I think one cucumber plant will probably be fine anyway so yeah I've got two more runners <clears throat> got some shallots in the back but yeah everything else seems to be doing fine like my roses going crazy I feel like I need to like bunch this together because this one's hanging around um my hydrangea is starting to flower my clements is is flowering again which is amazing really pretty my hydrangea is starting to flower as well these shrubs i put in about a month ago have doubled in size because they were tiny and then my my flower baskets they're all like blooming now pretty much and this one over here this one all kind of similar colours right I've just got back only because I actually forgot my dad's ribeye I um, I thought I'd give him a ribeye for Father's Day I'm picking him up so he can obviously drop it straight into the fridge um, but I'm actually going down to the shop first because I've got a couple of things to do there Graham's there I've got a folder of stuff that I need to take down as well I actually uh, I dropped the kids off and then I picked up some books from a friend that I know, she actually years and years ago used to work in the nursery when Alistair and Violet were there. Um, but she was just selling some books on our local sort of face bay. And I am in desperate need of some new books. But you know, you just don't know what to read. I hate, I actually really hate buying new books because I only read them once and I feel like it's such a wasted expense. Um, I usually just try and pick them up from a charity shop, but I saw that she was selling them for like a quid quid each so I just said she had loads of them I was just like pick your best ones and I'll just have those so this one so lucky uh, we've got the school for good mothers um, Ruth Jones us three I've heard about this one I think this one's quite a more recent one as well I think actually so lucky is quite supposed to be quite good and then this one the break Marianne Keys so huge do you know you just need some new reads but you just don't know there's just so many books out there in the world isn't there I'm just like I don't even know where to start half the time um so yeah time with some bargains um I'm actually yeah like I said I'm gonna pop down the shop now I can put this in the fridge down there anyway right I've just been here for the last two hours just having a massive overhaul clean I've been painting rails I've got to leave in a minute to go get my dad yeah we've just been having a massive clean deep clean clear out for the last week it's just coming to the end of like the deep clean and then we just need to like we've just been like doing ceilings and all those nitty gritty bits that we need to have done this area is looking i've been painting those bars and up here as well organizing some bits we're home. I'm so tired. There's so much driving today. Let's have a look. Is he Batman? Is he Batman? Is he Batman? Ah, oh, he's so cute. So yeah, good day. Went and picked up my dad and we um, went to pitch and piano. We all had the same. We had the club sandwich, which is really nice. Um, it was massive. It was like three slices of bread. Um, but it was very, very good. And, and then, ducky. yeah, ducky. chat, chat, chatting, catching up. And then it was like time to vomit over the forest. Obviously not. It's very slow over the forest actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, get back for nursery school run. Um, and that's pretty much what I've done. Nothing else really. I don't want to. I want to just like hang out now I might have cup Mom, why is this here? it's been really nice today not too hot it's been like the perfect temperature I'm just peeling all the white bits off Miles doesn't like the white big bits on piss on the orange yeah Mom, get me guess what we're having for dinner tonight Mom, get me Miles what are we going to have for dinner tonight I don't know guess pizza nope what my favourite food? Barbecue! What's that in your nose? 
Yes. You already had lasagna at Nesri. Haven't you? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Eating outside. Lucky, lucky boy. Cup of tea in the sunshine. It's raining yesterday, that's why I'm doing a barbecue today. I actually brought home, we went out to a friend's house on Saturday night, but I brought home just some bits from the shop, obviously, just like skewers and stuff that I know we're not going to sell in the next few days, just kind of need using up, whatever we've left. I was like, right, we'll have a barbecue on Sunday. Obviously it rained yesterday. So, um, yeah, like the amount of barbecues we've had. So we're going to have a barbecue again tonight. I've got loads of skewers. Lo oh my God, I've got so much to stick on the barbecue. And what's good about barbecue stuff, I suppose, is that if it goes cold, you just put it in the fridge and you can have it the next day. Like, Alistair even loves taking, like, cold sausages and whatever um, to school. So, yeah, that is plan. That sun is absolutely boiling. It's, like, so deceiving, isn't it, when there's a bit of a breeze? You see him by his feet. He loves hanging out, like, by underneath the slide because I think it's well it's long it's longer that bit of grass but it's also shaded. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> Just likes to sink. It's a bit cloudy now. We've literally got four weeks until the kids break up from school and I am so ready for them to just to be a bit happier. I don't know about your kids, but my two are miseries from the time they wake up till the time they go to bed. They've just got so much attitude and they're so tired and they just don't, like Alistair especially, is so over school. Like he's just so over it. And I just, I don't know, like he definitely needs this long break. I think it's gonna hopefully um, his enjoyment for school might come back in year 10 but right now he's just so miserable honestly he's in such a mood all the time and I don't really know I don't know I don't know if it's just the hormones the teenage age like he's just hard work I mean really hard work and Violet is going in that direction I think she's at this point where she just there's such a build-up of year six and like the build-up of sats was just really hard, I think. The pressure. And now sats is done, I think she kind of just thought... She keeps asking me her results or whatever. I don't know when that's coming. But, like, <clears throat> I feel like the build-up is there, it's done, and then they expect, like, well, it's just like, so are we done now? Can we just, you know, move on to, like, summer? And then, you know, I think she's just outgrown junior school now. Let's bring on the summer, even though I'm working like normal and it's going to be quite tough. Um, I have got Miles. I actually need to email off some dates because I definitely need him in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice just to do different things. Plan some trips out. We don't necessarily have a couple holidays booked or anything, but I think it'd be just nice home days, you know. Camp outs. Right, sun's back out. All the families oh, are really, outside. Really, really slow, really. Right. Going to put some yummy stuff on the bobby. Oh, these, well, this is our new flavour. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Fiery something. Fiery buffalo. buffalo. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to try them. The smell. It's like um, the hot and spicy Munster Munch, that's what it reminds me of. All those like little rings from Aldi, the hot ones. They're not really that hot, but that's what the smell reminds me of when I was marinating them. We've got duck, we've got surf and turf, we've got cofters, um, the treats there and chicken skewers, some peppered steak. What's that, a bit of pork belly? Pork rib? Beef rib. Oh, beef rib. I keep saying pork rib. Um, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Busy day cleaning? Hi. Call me some sugar. <laughs> That's why I got you a Pepsi. But it's no sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. You know. Mm. Oh, 
Nicely. Don't know where the time's gone. Um, just enjoying the evening, spending some quality time with the family outside. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then I was just like, "What's the time? Seven o'clock? What? Oh, I've got to get Mum's bath bed." Let's keep a bit of a routine with him, obviously. Kind of have to, because he really does need to sleep. And obviously it just means that everything just gets dragged out later. You know, it's like we end up not really having an evening. So, Graham's bathing. I've just put dishwasher on. Graham's bathing miles. I'm just going to walk the dogs. Um, yeah. And then I get miles to bed and then we just kind of... Maybe we go in the hot tub. That's what I was thinking, because it's a bit cooler tonight which is really nice. And obviously when it's too hot, you don't really want to get in a hot tub. So I think something to suggest. Smell something good down there. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Child in bed, I need to actually water my plants. Graham's gonna sort out his truck. It's like eight o'clock. I don't know where the day's gone, honestly. I don't know where the night's gone. On the plus side, got me a hose again. Oh god, that was a horrible thistle. Um, so I'm happy. Hello. He loves it. <laughs> 